everyone welcome to my channel today i will talk about different count functions in dax with various examples so that you can have a very clear understanding on how these functions are different from each other so today we'll see how these different count functions work on the fields which have some duplicates or on the fields which have some blank records or on true false related data so let's start with our examples today. We'll start with count function. So let me create a new measure. It will be count example count and let's select first name. So see here, there are overall uh, 15 employees. So it is showing 15, which is absolutely fine. Next we'll use last name field and see how this count function performs when the field has some blank data so let's change this to last name and let's see see it is showing 12 so the last name field has one two three three blank records and it is showing 12 it means that it is not at all considering the blank records it's only considering the not blank data so now we will see how count function performs on the field which has some duplicate records so again go to the same example we'll change this field to job title and let's see so it is showing 15. It means that this count function does not consider duplicates. Only thing is that it has to be some non-blank value. Otherwise, it will consider each and every record of a field. Now, let's see how this count function works on true or false data. Let's change this to is active. And OK. So see here, it is showing error. So that means count function does not work on true false data so if you look at the points here for count function it does not consider duplicates which we have already found out only considers non-blank values blank values are skipped we have already seen this as well and the last one is true false values are not supported so we have found this as well so now we have understood how count function works. Now let's move on to count a function. So since this is throwing error, let me just replace count with uh, count a on the same field and we'll see whether it works or not. So see here, count a function works fine on true false data. Although you can see here, there are so many duplicates and it is just like count function it is also not considering the duplicates but it works absolutely fine on true false data let's see how it works on blank data let's select last name and okay so see here again it is showing 12 it is performing same as count function that means count a function also does not consider blank records that's why it is showing 12 now let me change this to job title and see how this count a function works on some duplicate records. Just like count function, count a function is also not considering the duplicate. So basically the only difference between count and count a function is count function does not support true false data while count a function supports true false data. Let's go to count blank function so let's select this we'll use count blank and let's change this to last name since last name has some blank records right let's select last name so see here if you want to count the number of blank records for a particular field you can use count blank function so i have selected last name here and last name has three blank records and it is showing three now let me show you whether this count blank function works on true false data or not let me change this field to is manager and see well 
So it is showing 12. So you can see there are only three uh, non-blank values for is manager. So 12 is absolutely correct. And so that means count blank function works on true false data as well. So now let's see the definition. So count blank function counts a number of blank sales in a column and it returns blank in case like it doesn't find any row at all. Now let's move on to count rows function and see how it works. So for count rows, we have to pass the table. Employee data. And it is showing 15, which is absolutely correct. Count rows function will just give you the number of rows a table has. In that case, you don't have to worry about all those scenarios, whether if, if there is any field in the table which has blank records or if any field in the table which has duplicate record or if there is any field in the table which has true false data, it will give you the total number of records in the particular table. So this is a very useful function when you want to know the number of records in a table. So next go to distinct count function. Distinct count function is a very useful function. So make sure that you understand how it works. Let me use distinct count. Let me first use, uh, for example, first name. So first name does not have any duplicate records. It doesn't have any blank data or anything. And it has 15 unique records. It is giving 15. So it is pretty much straightforward. Now let's see how it works on last name. So let me just change this to last name. And it is giving me 13 now. Previously, we have seen both count and count A return 12 when we applied those functions on last name because those were skipping blank records. But if you look at distinct count, it is showing 13 when I'm using last name. What does it mean? It means that if there is any blank record, like combiningly, it is considering all the blank records as one record. So that's the reason it is showing 13. So basically 12 non-blank unique records plus one blank record, which combines all these three blank records. So that's why it is showing 13. Next, move on to job title field. So as you can see here, job title has two duplicates, right? So we'll see now how this function performs on job title. It is showing 14. So what does it mean? It means that if there are any duplicates, it will consider only one value. So that's it. That's the reason the name of the function is distinct count. It only considers the distinct values. And then let's see whether this function works on true false data or not. Let me select is active and hit OK. So see here, this function supports true false and see although there are so many duplicates, but it is only showing you two. Why? Because there are two unique records, true and false. Now let's go back to the first page and see the definition of distinct count. So by definition, it counts the number of distinct values in a column. So we have already understood that it doesn't consider the duplicates. It only considers the unique value for a particular column. Then our last function is distinct count no blank. So sometimes you may get this kind of requirement where you want to get the distinct values for a particular field, but you don't want to consider the blank record. In that case, instead of distinct count function, you have to use distinct count no blank function. Let me use the same function on is manager field. So see here, so is manager field, it has only one distinct record and so many blank records and it is giving me one. But instead of distinct count no blank, if you use just distinct count, then you will get two. So this is the difference between distinct count and distinct count no blank. Distinct count is giving you two because it is considering the 
number of distinct values and it is also considering the blank as one while distinct count no blank is not considering the blank it is only giving you the count of distinct value and that is one i hope now you are able to understand how this different count functions work and how they are different from each other i will also share these notes in the description box so do check it out if you want to and thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel bye bye